Rebuilding Trust and Learning from Our Mistakes by Beth Daly Ullam In collaboration with the Institute for Professionalism and Ethical Practice I want to tell you one little story is years later in 2008 my uh, youngest child was in the hospital and accidentally got overdosed on Reglan which is a, a drug for reflux they gave him the dose for a cancer patient instead of the dose for a neonatal baby when I was looking at my son he looked like he was in pain and so I called the nurse over um, to ask for some ibuprofen or something for the pain and at that time I saw her face kind of go white and and she realized that something had happened and I watched her face and she went and got the doctor and they sat down with me very quickly and explained that he had been accidentally overdosed of a, a reflux medication and he got 10 times the dosage that he should have. And uh, that was what was causing his discomfort. And so luckily there was no long-term serious harm, but I felt so appreciative that they told me right away. And then more importantly, that they told me what they were gonna do to understand why this happened and what they could do for, to prevent it from happening in the, in the future. They explained their incident reporting process and their analysis process to get to the root cause of what drove that, that problem. It was such a different experience than when my first son, Michael, uh, was born, where nobody would tell me information. It took me six weeks to get my records. They destroyed my fetal strips and the computer backup. Now, I know the conversation when it's a full loss of life, like with my first son, is a much more difficult conversation to have than a conversation about an overdose where there was no significant harm. But I think the same principle applies, that if you have that conversation and you share that information, the trust still exists, and it doesn't feel like that loss was as much in vain if there's improvement and learning that comes from it. I think the thing that killed me the most when my son died was that I didn't feel like anyone was making an effort to improve and learn based on what happened. It just felt in vain. I kept saying that over and over. And like nobody cared that his life mattered to me enough to try to make things better. Um, he was only one little life, but if they had prevented this in other families, there would be some, something in me that would have healed a little bit better.